from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III, and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for you. That's right, you, the happy people. From Monday through Fridays, I will give you positive words of wisdom through my show, The Oak Zone, with Jesse Oakley III. But today is Sunday, and it is time for the Sunday morning chat series, where I get the chance to interview a plethora of positive people that are making a big difference in their community. Whether they be speakers, writers, yoga instructors, animal rescue volunteers, organ donors, anyone that's making a positive difference in their community, you'll hear from them here on the Sunday morning chat series. And today, we got ourselves an awesome show. I've looked everywhere for many people that are making a big difference in the community. Some are doing different things that are making an impact that could give positivity when the world needs it the most. And when I think of positivity, and when I think of happy people, and when I think of amazing people that are reaching out there and making a difference in the community, I think of my guest today. He is what he's called a success strategist. And it gives you pleasure to welcome none other than the man himself, Mr. Tim Chester. Hey, Tim, how's it going? Oh, gosh, Jesse, I'm great. How are you? Hey, I'm fantastic. If I was any better, I'd be you. Ooh, wow. I like that. <laughs> All right. It's truly fantastic to have you here, Tim. And Thank you. Without, without any further delay, let's chat. Okay. All right. Now, what is a success strategist? What does one do as a success strategist? That's a great question because I actually get that quite a bit. You know, I'm a life coach. I'm a leadership coach. I'm a trainer and a speaker. However, from the standpoint of being a success strategist, um, the life coaching portion of it is that I work with individuals and small business owners uh, in a way that I help them to discover what it is that they say that they want. And then I also move into a situation where we look at what's stopping them from getting what they want. And then I utilize a type of a mentorship style with them and provide them with resources or help them to find resources that will support them on their journey to get from where they are to where they want to be. Hmm. Essentially a 360 degree approach. All right. So that's how I help them to do that. So it's kind of a, a full, I guess we would call it a, a, um, uh, a full process, a full service uh, type of a situation uh, approach to um, personal development. Okay, fantastic. Now, how did you get started in this life coach and success strategist business? <laughs> it's really interesting how it started. Many years ago, I got involved in personal growth. And I was working in construction inspection and material testing at the time. And I was working with concrete mostly, and I was in contact with concrete drivers for concrete pours mostly all day long. And what I noticed one day was that a pattern was happening. Hmm. Three drivers, four drivers, five drivers, six drivers. When they'd back up to the pump truck, they get out and spray everything off. I started to have a conversation with them. Of course, I knew them because I saw them all the time. Most of them knew me. I knew them. And I asked, hey, how's it going? And the first guy, oh, same old, you know, the next word. Mm -hmm. And then the next guy, same old. And then the next guy, same old. I'm talking about exactly the same response, word for word. By the time I got to the ninth driver, it was pretty obvious that I'm dealing with individuals that are probably not happy in their job. Right. You know, and they're, they're involved in an environment that is not supportive of personal development. And so I started to talk to them a little bit about what happened in, you know, in their business and how they were and what they wanted and what they liked and, and I started to have these conversations having to do with personal development. And I started to notice that I was having a sense of euphoria when I would talk. It was almost as if I was having an out-of-body experience. Ooh. And over time, I started to realize that, hey, wait a second. 
there's something going on here for me that is placing me in an elevated state, I guess, if you will. And I started to pay attention to that. And that took me into life coaching. And I became a certified life coach. And it's wow. interesting because I looked back at when I was younger and I recalled when I was in high school where I used to have couples, friends that were in relationships that would come to me when the relationships were in trouble. Okay. Somehow, some way, they just naturally gravitated toward me, I guess because I was a great listener or whatever. And I offered a, um, an impartial perspective, an objective okay. perspective to what their issues were. And I, when I look back at that, I thought, ah, I guess that's really what I was supposed to be doing. Ah. All right. That's truly fantastic. Now, when it comes to going into the life coach and success strategy business, what were your challenges? The biggest one is really common. All right. A gentleman by the name of Michael Gerber wrote a book called The E-Myth Revisited. Well, actually, E-Myth and then The E-Myth Revisited, where he talks about a fundamental pr uh, principle that happens with people that want to become entrepreneurs. They have a hobby, something they're good at, but they don't know how to run a business. Mm. So the, pre the premise here is that entrepreneurs that want to turn a hobby into a business have to learn how to work on their business instead of working in their business. Ah. It might seem like a small thing, but it's actually a very big thing. And that was my biggest challenge because I didn't know beans about running a business. Not at all. I had to learn how to, I had to learn how to market. I had to learn how to budget. I had to learn how to take care of the books. I had to learn how to promote my business, uh, public relations, networking, uh, strategies, uh, processes. How was my business going to look? Was I going to sell things? Uh, was, was I just going to offer coaching? Was I going to do group coaching? Was I going to do something online? Or was I going to get involved in funnels, mm -hmm. selling materials? I had to figure out all that stuff. Oh, and what kind of entity did I want to be? Wow. I didn't I didn't know any of those things. So that was my biggest challenge is right from the very beginning. Is I realized that I didn't even know what I didn't know. You know? So that was the biggest challenge. Wow. It's always that first step that seems to be the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. isn't? Absolutely. Okay. Now, what were some of your best moments in the business? I think one of the, the first ones was when I was recognized uh, as a, a finalist uh, in the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce uh, Busy Awards uh, innovative, innovative Business Category. Oh. Uh, it, was, it was my first year in business, and I was recognized as a finalist with two other businesses that were really great businesses. And one of them was also a life coach. Okay. And um, I was recognized as a finalist. And I went to this big to-do at the Rio. And, I, you know, I got a certificate. I got recognized by the governor of the state and uh, oh. the, the, the mayor and all types of different things. So that was a really a big deal. Uh, and But the bigger um, accolades or things that I really get really jazzed about is when uh, the people that I'm working with, you know, the light bulb goes on or they get ah. what they want. You know, it's like suddenly they made a breakthrough. You know, that's the real reason I do this anyway is to support them, the people that I'm working with, that I partner with to help them to get to where it is they want to go. And suddenly the light bulb goes on, there's a breakthrough and suddenly there's a big shift in energy from, I'm not quite sure I can get there to suddenly a confidence level. Like, hey, you know what? I can get there now because I just made the breakthrough. The thought processes have changed. The energy has shifted. The mindset is different. Mm -hmm. And now everything is shifting in a way that we can move forward. And basically what's happening is, is they're driving, uh, uh, they're driving me or they're telling me where to go. It's like, I'm a chauffeur. Ah. I'm a limo driver. All right. They're telling me where to go and how to lead them and coach them to get them to where it is as they say they want to go, but the energy level really picks up and the momentum starts to really move forward. So that's probably the biggest one. All right, fantastic. Now, there is someone out there 
that you happen to meet that would be interested in the business that you're in. They are amazed with the work that you've done and they are aspiring to be just like you. Now, if you had a chance to talk to this, this aspiring individual on how to be in your shoes, what advice would you give that person? I think the biggest advice I'd have to give to them is to ask them if they know what their purpose is. Are they clear what their purpose is? All right. Um, I've learned that the two biggest days in a person's life is the day that they were born and the day that they realize why they were born. So to get into something, you don't just want to get into something, especially like this. Now, this is a very, a very deep type of, um, a very deep type of uh, profession to get into. And you really have to be driven by this. So my first question would be to them is, is that, are you clear that this is your purpose in life? Because like I said, if you don't know how to run a business and you have all these other things you have to deal with, you know, all these uh, um, uh, things that can get in the way, you have to be clear that you're going to be able to keep moving to get past those things. All right. There's going to be obstacles along the way. So my, my biggest advice is said, do you know what your purpose is? If you believe your purpose is this, then you go for it. You know, but know your purpose first, because obviously I want you to move in the right direction for you. So maybe this isn't it. You have to find out for yourself. So you have to learn to understand and be clear about what your purpose is. That's my biggest advice. Excellent point. Excellent point. Now, is there anywhere that people can go to know more about your business? What, what could they go? Sure. They can go to timchester.com. Or they can go to lifesuccesscoachoflasvegas.com. They can reach out to me personally through my cell number at 702-375-1379. Those are the best places to reach me. All right. And do not fret for all the hundred people that missed that. Don't worry about the links because the links will be in the description right below. So if you have a chance to check some of this, the links out after this interview, please feel free to do so. But remember, the links will be in the description right below. All right, now we're almost at the end of this interview and it is shout out time. Now, is there anyone that you'd like to give a shout out to for making all this possible? Sure. There was a gentleman that mentored me several years ago that is easily the most uh, impactful and influential uh, in my life um, during my personal development uh, journey. And his name was uh, Bill Jackie. Yep. He's a gentleman that mentored me years ago. And it probably had a lot to do with him because he was running a program within Toastmasters called the Club Coach Program. And he invited me to get involved as a club coach. And it was because of that that I started to see how organizations can work and how to coach organizations. And that became something that, of a spinoff <clears throat> for my business, which eventually drove me to go back to school to get my degree in organizational leadership. And so I look back at him and I always remember what he did, how he did it, his beingness, uh, his love for mentoring and coaching. And he has no idea. You know, he's no longer with us, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. But I was able to recognize him when I was a division governor in Toastmasters, and um, I didn't realize that that would be something that would that would be probably the last thing that I was able to do with them. Mm -hmm. So my shout out goes to him because I owe a great deal to him, and his and he left his legacy in me. And I agree with you, Bill. Jackie was an amazing man, and he gave me some great learning lessons as a club coach as well. So when it comes to making a difference, Bill Jackie. He's true. He was truly the man that made the difference. Mm -hmm. Truly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Now, there are people out here that are watching this and they are inspired by your story, as well as the great words of advice that you've given. Now, my people are known as the happy people. That's my crew. Now, if you have any more advice, any more words of wisdom to give to my crew, the happy people, what would it be? I think that the thing that really stands out to me is a few years ago, in fact, I mentioned it earlier in our 
um, conversation is when I surrendered to the fact that I didn't even know what I didn't know, my life shifted, you know, because when I was younger, I thought that I knew, you know, but I was resting on my ego quite a bit and my laurels quite a bit. I thought that I could figure it out. Mm -hmm. And it was sometimes it would get in the way. When I got to the place where I finally surrendered and said to myself that I, I don't even know what I don't know, that's when my journey really truly began because I surrendered to the fact that the journey to knowledge, it, it never ends. Mm -hmm. You will never arrive. Well, there is a place that you arrive to, but it's not on this plane, on this earth. It's when we leave. You know, so as long as we're here, the journey is always constant. And it's always growing. And we never know everything there is to know. So even though I might consider myself sometimes an expert, I take that with a grain of salt because there's still so many things that I don't know. And there's other people that know more than I do. And I never want to get to that place where I stop growing and learning. So I always tell myself or remind myself that, you know what, Tim, I don't even know what I don't know. And, it keeps, right. me, and it keeps me going and it inspires me to keep moving. All right. And the journey always continues, no matter what you do, it always sure. continues because the journey is always better than the end. This is true. All right. Now, on behalf of all the happy people that are watching this, I would like to thank you, Tim, for taking part in the Oak Zone Sunday Morning Chat Series. Really appreciate it big time. Thanks, Jesse. I enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, having me on. I appreciate it. All right, and this concludes this episode of the Sunday Morning Chat Series. If you want more plethora of positivity, go to YouTube, type in Jesse Oakley III, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like, and share these videos with other happy people that you know. And once you get to my YouTube channel, you can also click onto the Sunday Morning Chat Series, where I got a chance to interview <laughs> past people that are making a big difference in the community, like my friend Tim. This concludes this episode of the Sunday Morning Chat Series. Until next time, happy people, take care and have a great day. Bye.